Hi everybody and welcome to this video. Um, today we're going to have a look at, um, well, I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. Uh, something I've never done before or something I've never used before. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is downloading and trying out uh, Linux. So let's have a go. Let's see what I need to do. Right, so Best Linux Desktop OS for new users. Right, so oh, I've actually heard of that one. Right, so it says for those users, I would recommend Manjaro. I've never heard of that. Ubuntu. Now I have heard of this going back years and oh god uh, early 2000s um, when Linux wasn't very well known um, so I might try that now uh, I say I'm, I'm new to it um, so I'll try Ubuntu. So how do I get Ubuntu? So download Ubuntu. Right, so get Ubuntu. Right, so Ubuntu desktop. Download Ubuntu desktop to replace your current operating system. So download. Now the main reason I'm doing this is uh, I'm in the future. I'm at the moment I'm currently saving up for a course. Now this course is um what you call it Amazon Web Services uh, I did a free webinar on it and it was a AWS summer on uh, summer online uh, and I actually quite enjoyed it but one of the main things that you need to yeah you need to know or you can learn from scratch from them but I want to get hands on a bit on is Linux so I'm going to what's this Ubuntu 20.04 LTS so we click on download The door node should start automatically. If it doesn't, so this says it's going to take about twenty minutes, nineteen twenty minutes, to download. Okay. So. What I need to know is how to install. So 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here pause the video here and then pick up when it's about downloaded so I missed the uh, download uh, completion so I've downloaded it so I'm going to go to my download right, so there it is I'm gonna copy that to the desktop right so I have it there might as well close that off because I don't want two copies of it How am I going to do this? Do I want to do it on this machine? Or... Hey, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add it to... Is this my live? Can you remember in a previous video I made about the uh, Ventai boot? So I'm gonna I did that knock off my camera. Yes it did. So it's knocked off my um, additional camera. Oh no, it's still on. That's fine. Right. Because I'm assuming if it's like the olden days, you used to, uh, you used to you could only install it using a live CD. So I don't know what it's like now. But we'll have a go. Um so Ventoy. I've got a lot of different types of windows on there. I've got Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, 11, Windows 2000, Windows Server. Oh yes, and I saved a copy uh, of my Windows to go drive as well. Windows 11 one that I created that failed and so I've got a copy of that I can reboot that onto retransfer that back onto a hard drive because I'm going to use it on I was going to use it on a VM that's why I created it into a VM so that's downloaded where's that at? oh there it is so I'm going to disconnect that from there. Of course it's being used. Okay. I hate it when that happens. So, and I'm going 
going to switch to let's see how many moves like that. There we go. So I'm gonna switch this machine off. Shut down. And I'm just gonna quickly pause while I move my camera. Right, so I'm gonna plug in this. USB drive and then it really doesn't look clear that oh, if I can clean it. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn the computer on. Because I want the boat from hmm. that one there we are that's right so again we've got our ventoid disc I really wish I could get this clearer It's not too bad, I suppose. Right, so I'm looking for Ubuntu. Right, so oh, a different. Settings. So we have Ubuntu, Ubuntu in Safe Graphics, uh, OEM install, boot from next volume. So we're just going to have a look at the this one here. So again, I've never. It's been a long time since I even knew about like Ubuntu. I knew about it, and um, back then it was a live CD. Never really thought about using it. Um, but again, I'm. I did an online summit with uh, Amazon Web Services um, and I'm going to do a course for that eventually when I've saved up my money. £5,000 is a lot of money to spend on a course. Uh, so... I'd like to see the differences and in this uh, oh nice 
and get our whole desktop in there. There we go. Okay. And desktop's gone off for some strange reason. Honestly, don't know what's going on here. Uh. Hmm. I'm puzzled. Yeah, I'm definitely puzzled. I think I might have crashed. I'm going to try and reboot. Try it again. So, I'm not on my display capture. I'm going to. So go back in. And Okay. I don't know what's gone. Well done. Looks like it's automatically selected. And it's already done this, so. I don't cancel it. Strange. So what I'm going to do on this computer, as you can see, I've got OBS on there. Uh, I'm just going to see what I can do. What can I do on Ubuntu? As a new user, right? So I have the desktop again, and we have the logo. Right. So while that's loaded, and I'm just going to go on here, learning. 
Ubuntu as a new user. Right. So I've got lots of on how to create so I'm not getting any activity from the hard drive Right, okay, so that didn't work. Right, hmm. I mustn't like. That. Hmm. And I'll tell you what. Seems as though we're having a problem on that machine. I'm going to pause it for now, and then I'm going to switch back to my desktop. But I'm going to run a um, virtual machine. I didn't want to have to run a virtual machine, but uh, but if you give me a few moments, uh, and you it'll be a second, me it'll be a couple of a couple of minutes, whilst I get everything set up. See you back in a minute. Right, so I'm uh, I'm welcome back. Uh, I'm going to start up VM player. And I'm going to set up the uh, virtual machine. So, play virtual machine. Okay. And I'm going to full screen it on. As you can see, I've still got on that. I'm waiting for that to even think about doing anything. Come out of a uh, full screen, I think. Right. I think I might have broke it already. <laughs> Uh, okay. Tell you what, let's got that power off. Create a new new one, so we'll delete that one. Uh, delete from disk, yes. So, create a new one, create a new virtual machine. Next, right, so full name Craig. I'm gonna go computing with Craig. Uh, Ubuntu. Ah, just TWC. I'll do password. Disk. Yeah, that should be all right. Finish. That should load automatically. So VM tools, right? So okay.
well full, well not full screen. And as you can see, don't know what that is doing. Still being funny. <laughs> We never even got anywhere near this part before. It crashed. Okay. So it must be automatically installing. And never give me the option to select. Although I did use uh, Easy Start right, so welcome to Ubuntu, fast and full of new features. The latest version of Ubuntu makes computing easier than ever. Here are just a few cool things to look out for. Okay. So what's the next one? Find even more software, right? So say goodbye to searching the web for new software with access to the Snap Store and the Ubuntu software archive, you can find and install new apps with ease. Just type in what you are looking for, or explore categories such as graphics and photography, games and productivity, alongside helpful reviews from other users. Okay. Well, I can already say it's got YouTube on there, so that's cool. Take your music with you. Ubuntu comes with amazing rhythm box music player. With advanced playback options, it's simple to queue up the perfect songs. Ooh, nice. So it's also got Spotify and VLC player. Nice. Uh, nice picture of a poor cat, I think that is. Or ferret or something like that. Not too sure. Shot well as a handy photo manager. Yep. Make the most of the web. So Ubuntu includes Firefox, the web browser used by millions of people around the world. And web applications are used frequently like Facebook or Gmail. Oh, well. Uh, what else have we have? Everything you need for the office. Libre office. Now I have heard of this. Uh, now I years ago, um, when I did Windows two thousand server, um, we didn't use Microsoft Office. We used something called. I'm trying to think of the name. Open Office from OpenOffice.org. Now I don't know whether that's still running, but I'm assuming that's the same kind of thing that that was because Open Office was the same sort of thing. Oh, it's changed screens automatically. Right, access for everybody at the heart of Ubuntu physiology. Is the belief that computing is for everyone with advanced accessibility tools and options to change language, color scheme, and text size. Nice. So the official documentation covers many of the most common areas about Ubuntu. 
It's available both online and via the help icon in the dock. Okay. At Ask Ubuntu, you can ask questions and search an impressive collection of already unanswered questions. Support in your own language may be provided by your local community team. Nice. So we'll just wait for this. Uh, to finish copying files, I, su I suppose. Now, if anything, that looks like that, that, that there looks like is it a panther? Looks like a panther. But the docks look suspiciously like a, a Mac OS. Doc. Now, I have seen a video on YouTube. I don't know where it is. I don't know what it's called. But I, I have seen it about the different versions of Linux. And it said you can have a one that looks... I don't know whether it's mint or whatever it is it looks exactly like um or i don't know what the specifics are uh you could get it to look like windows 10 or windows 7 or windows xp i'm not too sure um i'd have to have another look in on youtube to find out I say this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do it on a VM either. Because it's painfully slow uh, on a virtual machine. Especially on my Mac. That's why I wanted to do it natively on this machine. But I suppose I could I, I could eat, I could do it and make it easier for myself by creating a US, US, uh, USB uh, flash drive but I'm already committed into this phase so If it becomes too slow, then far too slow, then I will put it onto a flash drive. I have plenty of flash drives, it's no problem, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, oh, let's create a new user, it's all right, never mind. I was going to do a little uh, skip. So I don't even know how to install packages or anything like that, so... Turn that one off. And reboot into Windows.
right, so... We're nearly there, I hope. It's taking its time. And why is my end my connection on this computer not showing up? Oh, wait. Um, yes, I think I know what the problem was with that. Right, network. Right, so. Just give it a quick check again. Yep. That's done that. Because I run this computer off this this uh, internet through. Every other, every other time I have to try and do that, it's annoying sometimes. Right.
does, yeah. So we have a valid IP now. There we go. Oh. No thanks. Ubuntu. Tutorials at Ubuntu. So Understand any of this? So, like I say, I've never used, really used Linux. So, these tutorials help to help uh, provide a step-by-step -step process in to doing development and DevOps activities on the Ubuntu machine services or devices. Okay. Desktop. Install apps. So we've got install a, install a Java runtime environment, install a Ubuntu desktop. Say so, you now, why didn't I have that on the main screen? Install a Ubuntu desktop. Would have been a lot easier. Definitely would have been a lot easier because I would have been able to follow it. I remember I've never, I haven't used Linux, and the last time, and we're talking a long time ago, even before I did Windows two thousand, I think it was, uh, by no, it was early two thousands. That. I even downloaded it, I didn't know what I was doing on it, uh, so I didn't bother with it. Starting going right, so what is a Ubuntu car? Never heard of it. it Sounds like server, server based. Okay. 
Well, all I want to do Again, I'm, uh, do I, oh, okay, right, so, connect with your online accounts, skip for now. Would you like to set up live patch now? Next. Next. Privacy. Yeah, why not? Right, you're ready to call, you can use software to install apps like this so vlc discord ooh obs studio oh even better uh microsoft teams nice code that looks suspiciously like the azure logo suspiciously in fact let's have a look Uh, I'm just going to go into my Azure. Oh, turn that off because I had me details on uh, I'll go back on No, it's not, but hey, close. Right, so. Right, all right. Done. Okay, install now. Right, I'm going to have to pause it here for, for the time being um, and then I'll continue in a few minutes, okay? So I'm back um, so screen Check 
Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's see what. So it says software update. Computer needs to. So we start now. So just wait for this to restart. One two for dummies. Let's have a look at that. It's on Amazon like so. I'm not saying I'm a dummy, but again, I've never used Linux before, so too big. It's really hard to try and get this right. Right, so that's fair enough. So what have we got here? So we've got Firefox, Thunderbird Mail, Rhythm Box, so that's LibreOffice Writer, Ubuntu Software. So let's have a look at this. Because the first thing I want to do is have a look at so how do I search uh, YouTube? Download videos from YouTube. Ah. Watch you, many YouTube. Watch YouTube videos. Shot well. Organize your photos. SM Tube. Browse.
Facebook. Spotify. Um, exp let's explore. Right, so Games. Oh, we got some games, are we? Wait for that to populate. Solitaire. No. Capman. <laughs> Capman. I like it. Sudoku, K blocks. Minecraft server installer. Nice. OBS Studio, what I that's what I use. It's actually quite good. Uh, be even better when I get a when I actually get. A video capture from your other computer. Why does that show the wrong date? I saw not the wrong date, wrong time. Well, how do I look at these? Okay, come, come off there, come on the settings. region and language so it says where does it say location date and time date and time yeah we're not there that Could have just done uh, automatic like. So as you can see, it's half past ten at night. Right. So what I'm going to do is I have this now uh, on a VM, and I'm going to. Start doing some uh, videos on Ubuntu, le like learning Ubuntu. Uh, what have we got here? It's text has a uh, Mahjong Minds. 
what's this? So, power statistics. Labor office files. I was right. I don't know what the hell that is. Additional. Let's have a look. Additional drivers. Come to the software or the software. So I'm gonna leave it at, at uh, this for now. Um, I have the desktop installed, so I don't have to do that again. Um, and I'll have a look. Uh, do a bit more research online on how to uh, use Ubuntu. This will be a bit of fun, a bit of fun and also a bit of learning for me. So I'm just going to leave it there. Um, thank you very much for your time. I know this has been a bit of a long video over an hour. Um, so um, if you have any suggestions on Linux. Um, please write in the comments, or even or even if you you want me to go uh, find out how to cover certain things. Uh, I don't know, so we can learn together, sort of thing. Again, if you like this video, please uh, please like. Um, also, please subscribe um, if you like some of the content that I do and would like to get more more content. Um, I did say on a previous video that I would be looking at Windows 11. Um, I am going to be looking at Windows 11 um, and doing a video, a videos of Windows 11. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm in the process of making them videos at the moment, so um, like I say, uh, please like and please subscribe. Um, the more subscribers, the, the the better chance of not not better chance. Uh, sorry, more views. Uh, the the better scope of what I have of what people are liking so hopefully this video does does get quite a lot and if it does I'll be focusing more on this side uh, thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one